Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today today channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Worst things Cody Brown has said about Janelle ranked. During sister wives season 18, Janelle Brown and Cody Brown terminated their spiritual union after nearly 30 years of marriage. It was a difficult divorce. Cody's second wife, Janelle, and he have six children together. Two years after Cody wed Mary Brown, his first wife, they tied the knot. In less than a year following his marriage to Janelle, Cody wed Christine Brown, his third spouse. It would take another 16 years for Cody to remarry in 2010, when he wed Robin Brown. For spouses and 18 children meant that there were multiple large, rowdy families to run. Eventually, it became too much, and Janelle and Cody announced their separation in December 2022 after a few months of separation. Considering some of the horrible things Cody has said about Janelle over the years, the breakup wasn't too shocking. Compared to the rest of the multiple family, Cody and Robin exercised greater caution during the COVID-19 epidemic. This led to a great deal of conflict between Cody and Janelle's kids, especially Gabriel and Garrison Brown, who refused to abide by their father's stringent pandemic regulations. The family was severely divided as a result of this dispute, and Janelle was forced to make the difficult decision to choose between Cody and her kids. Cody said that Janelle was being indolent when it came to preventing COVID-19 when she decided to stick by her children. Janelle ultimately lost her patience with Cody since nothing she did was good enough. Janelle and Christine made the decision to allow their children to see each other during the COVID-19 quarantine because they were worried their children wouldn't get to see their relatives. Since this would be the first time the family was apart over the holidays, Cody was incensed when they decided to spend the holidays together. During a confessional, Cody said to the cameras that he believed Janelle was full of s asterisk asterisk t. Cody didn't believe Janelle when she frequently claimed that she was attempting to close the distance between him and his sons. Rather, he charged that she was interfering with their relationship by disobeying Cody's COVID-19 directives to eye on the third episode of Sister Wives Season 18, Cody and Janelle became enraged. The usually peaceful pair was left yelling at one another in Janelle's newly rented apartment. Again, Cody's severe pandemic regulations and Janelle's kids' disobedience to them were the source of their argument. Janelle has always been the most composed in the family, even though Cody gets emotional often. But this discussion became so intense that Janelle became agitated as well. When it was all over, Cody stormed out, accusing Janelle of not listening to him. Given that he had been interrupting her throughout the whole talk, this claim was particularly upsetting. The majority of Sister Wives Season 18 was devoted to Cody's ire at Janelle's sons for disobeying his COVID-19 guidelines. During the pandemic, following a particularly nasty dispute, Cody stated, I don't have sons. To me, they're all dead. Although the epidemic may have started the argument between him and his boys, it had been brewing for years. Particularly with his oldest children, Cody has been spending less and less time with them since the family relocated out of Utah and into various separate residences. This persistent issue was brought to light by the pandemic. The ongoing disagreement between Cody and Janelle regarding raising their children erupts in Sister Wives Season 18. Cody lost his temper when Janelle told him that she and her children will be spending the holidays with Christine and her children. Janelle and Christine had always been close, but since Christine departed, Cody expected Janelle to stay faithful to him. He said that Janelle had been deceiving him and taking time away from him to spend with his family. This was an unfair charge because Cody, not Janelle, was the one who handled the situation completely. In discussing his distance from his sons, Gabe and Garrison, Cody makes the implication that Janelle compromises his role as the head of the family and the man of the home. Despite their undermining, I should be a strong leader in the family, but I don't have the same exposure to the kids as the mothers in this family do. Therefore, it would be best if the mothers supported me, he remarked. In the end, Cody's anger toward Janelle for prioritizing her kids' needs before his was a selfish one. Throughout the years, Cody would frequently bemoan the fact that every lady in a plural marriage became the leader of her own family. Wives who only see their husbands occasionally naturally become more self-reliant and accustomed to making decisions for both themselves and their biological children. Cody began to feel resentful of Janelle for taking decisions on her own without first talking to him. 
Christine, for her part, joked that when she married Cody, she didn't sign up for patriarchy. She was happy with the independence her multiple marriages had given her and had no plans to give it up. Cody's comment regarding his wife's menstrual cycle was the worst thing he ever uttered on Sister Wives. He once claimed that one of his wife PMS symptoms were the cause of a particularly heated argument they had. Rather than addressing the core issue, he minimized it to his primitive notions of a woman's menstrual cycle. Cody even went so far as to tell another polygamist spouse that his wife's monthly cycles make him feel abused and that they are demonic during that time. Cody's remarks regarding Janelle's menstrual cycle were never appreciated by her, and she once informed him that she becomes frustrated when she is reduced to her biology. Fans are unleashed when Michael T. Brown upsets Sister Wives viewers. Michael T. Brown, star of Sister Wives, is well known for her attempts to spill the tea within the Brown household. She even started a Patreon page where fans may pay her to respond to some of the most important queries about Cody and Robin. Her actions have angered some fans, though. Some others advise TLC to cut down on her screen time. See why so many people are upset with the 27-year-old by reading on. Michael T. stated in the most recent episode of Christine's wedding special that she already views David as her stepfather. In addition, a large number of the Brown kids have shown support for Christine and David's union. Before they were even married, Truffoli even admitted that she already thought of them as husband and wife. Michael T., though, seems to be trying to show off how much she enjoys her mom's new husband. She thanked Wooly profusely on Instagram after he gave her kids a drivable kid's car. Many were also astonished after the Sister Wives star referred to him as Grandpa. Grandpa at David underscore underscore Wooly gave the boys a birthday present, which I finally completed. And suddenly there is pandemonium. To put it mildly, I use the truck to restrain this Avalon and the lads while I style their hair. My new favorite bribe is this one. Michael T's screen time during the wedding special has some Redditors upset. The poster claims that they were quite uncomfortable while seeing the Sister Wives star and her spouse. The married couple is described as immature, pretentious, and completely self-serving by the Reddit user. Michael T. is so in need of acceptance that, while carrying her children, she told Robin first. Well, Robin had morning sickness, so, was her justification. Is Michael T. really of the opinion that we are so unintelligent that we fail to see that her actions were motivated by her father's acceptance and attention? Others concurred and cited other instances of Michael T. Brown's conceit. In another moment, she questioned Christine about who her most fun daughter was. Many are also incensed at her apparent need for Cody's attention. These are a few remarks that were made to her. Michael T. seems to be the one who always gets the least attention and her siblings don't seem to like her around, so she seems to be taking full advantage of it now, but I feel like she still irritates everyone. To be really honest, I don't think Michael T. understands how much she needs acceptance, especially from her father. It is therefore not unexpected that she didn't realize the audience could see it. Oh no, what a horrible person she is, not a daughter wanting their dad's approval.